temperature wise, but like I know when I'll turn it down by one wall, it'll be like almost a thousand degrees where the fire's at. Level. Thousand degrees. Yeah, level wall's eight something. But like in the middle, you know, I'm, I'm like about anywhere this time of day, it's like 750 and it could be down to like, depending on where I put it there. So I, I, I actually throw fire, burn oil to get the weather for about four and a half hours. Oh, that's an interesting technique. It's like pinching it? Yeah, oh, wow. I like that. Okay. There it is. Nice little place on the corner of Somerset Street here in Raritan, a rather charming city of Raritan, New Jersey, guys. Guys, I don't want to waste any more time. I've been looking forward to this pizza for a while now. Let's go eat. Alright folks, what do we have here on our hands? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pizza with its own character. What do you say we grab a slice? I got the half sausage, oh it feels phenomenal. Extremely light, extremely light. Nice and neat, lots of cheese. Look at those char marks. Does it crackle on the bend? It absolutely does. When I first heard of this place and I read up about it, the first thing I read was 100 year old coal oven, original coal oven. I swear, to, I swear when I heard that, when I read that, my ears started twitching like a dog or a cat when they hear something that, you know, I could have sworn that my ears actually moved a little bit when I heard that. Century old original coal oven. The ears just, they started to twitch. When I drove here this afternoon, I got up, put my shoes on, brushed my teeth, right out the door, marched here. Nine miles an hour over the speed limit. Normally I do the speed limit. When I drive, I do the speed limit. This afternoon, when I drove here, nine miles over the speed limit. I gotta shut up, I gotta shut up. Mm. Such a juicy pizza. Good exterior snap, but unlike most crunchy pizzas, this one is very tender. It's not a heavy chew at all. It's not a heavy chew at all. Mm. Guys, let's grab one of the sausages. Guys, I can't begin to tell you how amazing this crust feels in my hands. Good quality sausage. Look at that sauce and cheese spread to the very edge. One of a kind. <laughs> That's some damn good sausage on this pizza. Lots of sauce, good cheese to sauce ratio. What do you say? We move on into the lab. Under the microscope we go. Let's dissect the one and only De Lucia's standard cheese pizza. Guys, the first thing I want to uh, mention here is the uh, cheese. Now, 
There's an abundance of it on there. Low moisture mozzarella. Not sure what type he's using. I didn't ask. There's a little bit of a sheen on it, but that's about it. Nothing dripping, nothing trickling. Nothing. Nothing. And that's what I like to see, guys. Low moisture mozzarella. Quality low moisture mozzarella. Not too greasy. And uh, a lot of cheese on this pie. And look how tight it is. You separate the slices. Look how beautifully that separates, guys. The aeration is very moderate, very thin, but also very light and airy. Very nice and pliable. Beautifully charred, nice dark brown in spots. Not a leopard skin char, but that is a beautiful, beautiful bottom. Exceeded all my expectations. And we'll turn over each of the slices. Consistent char throughout. Not exactly leopard skin char, but again, beautiful color. I have no idea what cheese he's using, guys, but it had a nice salty funk to it. It wasn't bland by far. I don't even think he threw anything grated onto this pie. Good quality low moisture mozz. The sauce on the savory side, very juicy, never dry towards the back. Sauce and cheese spread to the very edge. I was fascinated by the technique that the young lady inside was using. Occasionally, the cheese will melt over the cornichone. You know how much I love that. When the cheese melts over the edge like that. Oh, baby. I recall them speaking rather highly of their tomato sauce. I'm not sure what brand it was. I forgot. But it was really good. It wasn't tart or sour. The sauce, savory. Not too sweet. On the savory side. Not the silky, not the pulpiest sauce. You know me, I like a pulpy, runny sauce, chunky sauce. This is a traditional New York style, New Jersey style tomato sauce. Savory though, which is what I prefer. I don't like that sweet sauce. This is not that. It, uh, the ratio between cheese and sauce is spot on. Not sure what kind of flour he's using, but he did mention that he refuses to use uh, all Trump's flour and stuff like that. And the sausage guys, I'm not sure, again, what place he said he sources it from, but it was supposedly a good place. Good, high-quality sausage, Italian fennel sausage, very sweet tasting. I recommend getting the sausage here uh, on half of the pie, at least. Uh, you want to taste the pizza for what it is. Uh, so, you know, get the half plate so you can taste the pizza in its purest form. Guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. I'm not expecting any lack or loss of integrity after cooling down. Still crackling on the bend, guys. You hear that? That's what you want to hear when you move a pizza around, guys. Guys, I don't even need to bite into it. This is a pizza that retains its crunch, its integrity, long after cooling. I don't know what secrets they, they, they have in there, but they have some secrets. They have some secrets in there. A century, a century's worth of secrets. No brainer, don't have to think about it too much. 8.7, guys, this is a pizza that uh, is its own. It has its own character. I've never seen anything that looks like it. If it had some more of that exotic cheese on it, maybe a little, uh, you know, some shards of pecorino or parmigiano. This thing could have been in the nines. That's how much I love that crust. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's a one cheese. Uh, the sauce is silky. I, I prefer a chunkier sauce. Uh, maybe if it was garlic spiked. Uh, you know, with the sauce, sometimes I hit a conundrum. I appreciate a good quality San Marzano sauce. No garlic raw, nothing on it. You want to taste the quality tomato. But sometimes I, I go for that garlic spike sauce and I'm in the mood for a nice garlic spike sauce and uh, things like that. You know, like the Defara sauce, which is heavily spiced. Very herbaceous. This is not an herbaceous pizza, no oregano or anything on it. But on crust alone, uh, the, the quality of that low moisture mozzarella the uniqueness of the establishment, the history, 8-7, guys. Guys, you, you gotta hit this place up. If you haven't been here already, hit this place up. There's another thing that's great about this place, the prices. And I was really happy to find out that uh, he's busy. He was pumping out pizzas. And I was really happy to see that. 
and uh, supposedly he supplies a lot of supermarkets and other places so uh, that was good to see well guys that about sums it up for me man this is something that uh, you got to experience guys and uh, take a walk through town too it's beautiful over here pretty peculiar town the, the place right down the street there that sells firearms a lot of old factories old uh, colonial homes and uh, beautiful uh, little creek or river that runs through the town lots of history here this town seems like it's been settled for uh, over a century for sure i mean this pizzeria's been here since 19 since 1917 guys just like most places uh, like this with these old coal ovens uh, they're deeply rooted in baking just like santillo's uh, the guy mentioned santillo's it's just him and al that's all that's left so uh <laughs> come on down guys i'm telling you i'm telling you uh, enjoy it so be well uh, guys if you can hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop until next time this is antonio signing off